Reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield now a minute and a half to a member of the Energy and Commerce Committee, the gentlewoman from Brooklyn, New York, Ms. Clark. The gentlewoman's recognized for a minute and a half. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank our chairman. I rise today in support of H.R. 5376, the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. This monumental generational investment in our nation's future will lower prescription drug prices, energy costs, and extend health care coverage for millions of Americans and deliver a vital down payment of resources in our stand against the climate crisis, all while creating millions of well-paying jobs across America. Moreover, it makes a it makes good on our promise to allow that that allow always fights for this country's most vulnerable communities and now and forever. The journey to today has been challenging to say the least, but I'm at long last elated to know that the change Americans need and demand is finally here. Thanks to the hard work and ceaseless resolve of President Joe Biden, my Democratic colleagues on the Senate side, and every individual who seriously took their duty to fight tooth and nail to better the lives of every American in our care, our pursuit of progress has never been stronger. For communities of color, our seniors, pregnant and postpartum people, individuals and families living on low wages, and everyone else who has long been born the brunt of too many hardships to list, this legislation represents the initial steps they have long and desperately awaited. The Inflation Reduction Act will prevent thousands of premature deaths by improving the air quality in densely populated communities with high environmental justice needs. With that, Madam Chair, I, Ms. Madam Speaker, I yield back. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired.